Anytime I go out, and you know, I don't camp. I don't like to camp. I like to see the outdoors and then leave. Mm-hmm. I don't like to stay out there and lay down on the ground. What well, no. if you have one of them big old RVs? That'd be odd. No, I'm not. What them that. big ones? I don't like it. No. Even them good ones? I'd rather. Rick. Be, I want to be at a hotel Rick. or our yeah. cabin want, chalet. I thing. want brick mortar in between yeah. me Even and them, Bear. When the the living room slides out the side. I don't like them. No, don't want anything to do with that. I ain't but talking Greg, about a pop up. Greg, I'm about I, I can't halls. sleep in those things. Greg, oh. to me, a six hundred pound bear could still put his claw through that. Sure, he could. Reaching there and grip, grab you in the night. Of course, he could. Pull you out. No, not the one like I'm talking about. What about that? Furry Paul, hey, hey, Greg, well, he you may know. rock the the Greg, RV a little. Well, don't, let me make sure I understand. You don't think a grizzly bear can break the window? Not, I, not I, in them like I'm talking about. What? You've seen him like the race car drivers have, Greg. That, no, I don't have I an 18 wheeler. They, fight they won't. They won't off. let you pull an 18 wheeler no, into the campground. You've camp, seen Greg. the RVs they got. Them nice yeah. ones. Uh, Greg, the nice, nice ones, ones. still. Y'all they, they they are thinking pop up, pop up little. No. Do they have windows? Do they have windows? Yeah, Rick, but they can't get up that high. What? <laughs> you haven't seen it like a bus. <laughs> I stand nine feet tall. I can there, get in the window. Uh, I'll take my chances in that with a grizzly. I will. I'll stand behind no, it with a I, with candy and I'll, wave it at it. All I want you to is admit, 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 admit this to me. It's not as good as the hotel. I don't know. They, they, they've come a long way with them Greg, things. The hotel's not out there in the middle of the woods. <laughs> yeah, but you, what if he got but up, you can enjoy the woods. What if but he no, got up? Uh, what if he know? got up under it and chewed his way in? No, look. <laughs> and then, yeah, but I mean, he's plumbing. got he's got all day to mess with you. I mean, to me, without a gun to get rid of him. But I love can bad. always fire it up and drive off. But I love I, I love to come to, in the woods early the next morning. We're good. Leave the hotel. Drive in there. Right. Right. I, I mean, you know, stop. Get you a biscuit and start fishing. Now, right. you, he could eat you then too. Yeah, but I, I like it better when I'm, I'm I'm not out there sleeping. Well, he might. I, agree. I, I, don't, I don't like sleeping out. There. I don't like no, for me to go no. unconscious in out there in the wild. Because you either, you either get not some kind I, of rash or some bug bites you. Oh, it's miserable. Well, oh, if you're taking is. a nap in a hunting stand, that's different. One well, of the main yeah, reasons. Well, yeah, that. but you're not on the ground. One of the yeah, main yeah. reasons I try to talk my kids out of scouting is I know one day I'll be on them stupid camp. I know. I know. I know. You, you know, it, I'm guilty of that too. You wake up, got dew all over you. <laughs> You've had to twist a stick, start got, got, by some got, bitch on got, your leg, and oh, right in the butt. You spend the next week trying to explain how red bugs, you know, <laughs> yeah. well, them chigs will get you. Yeah, I mean, oh, what, what kind of, why is it, and why do those red bugs head in that direction? They do. It's, all, they're, they're, it's just so warm. It's yeah. one of the most horrifying things I ever saw. How about this? Go south. You know, get, get, they don't need to come up the leg. Go down the leg. You mm, know what? They're wow. horrible. And, you, and then you have to deal with that and. Smother it, and then people trying to put cigarettes out on you. Yeah, (laughs) uh, clear nail polish, which does not work well there. I hate it. I hate it. I I love the great outdoors, but I want to go in there, and then we leave it. How about that morning when you wake up, and, boy, you just want to shower? Oh, Oh, you just just, don't sleep good. You hadn't slept a wink. (laughs) Oh, (laughs) no. Miserable. feel like you've been out all night. Uh, Oh, gosh. Then you hear, and then somebody's got some early rising kid that you want to choke. Right, <laughs> no. some dad that loves mornings. Oh god, he's got the rods and he's ready. The guy who's got the boots with those socks on and feels good about it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And and the guy that you know has the guitar, but he, guitar, but he can't play. <laughs> right. Oh god. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, he just yeah. assumes everybody right. wants to hear his song. Right. Not really. Right. Sure. How many times can you hear "Hang Your Head, Tom Dooley"? <laughs> <laughs> Because that's the one they always start with. Uh, hang down your head, Tom. Yeah, that, is, <laughs> that is some James <laughs> Taylor song. <laughs> right. And I even, Fire I, and rain. You know, yeah. And they butcher it. Yeah. Right. Ain't even close. <laughs> and I believe we've sung Kumbaya so much it's been X'd off the list for oh, heaven. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Old MacDonald had a farm of the rhymes. I, I won't hear that. I, no. I think even God Almighty says, I'm done with Kumbaya. Get rid of that. <laughs> I heard it enough. I heard it enough. <laughs> well, it burned me out on that. I'd rather hear Aki break. Rick and Bubba, Rick and Bubba. All right, uh, Greg undoubtedly has found this indestructible mobile home that <laughs> grizzly bears can't get into. <laughs> and I, that As a I, matter of fact, a lot of our troops are going to start using them in Afghanistan. I don't think I, I would sleep in a Humvee with a grizzly bear outside of it. You're telling me that right, grizzly right, stop, bears. Stop. Hold on. Well, let's don't go that far. Let's go back to this. I'm, t- I'm not talking about when we were kids that one with the big W on the side with the racing stripes. Have you seen? Or I know you don't care. Have you seen these RVs now? No, I have, Greg. But I don't care. And you can it, spend as much as you want, by the way. Greg, but Greg, here, Greg, let me, if Greg, you let me make a one house point. And uh, uh, grizzly bears break down doors. And if crush I was windows. in Tony Stewart's RV that I saw at the track, I would not be scared of a grizzly bear. How about that? No, Greg, no. Well, I don't mind that. that. Cost over a million. Yeah, Greg, but you're not very. You, you, but you can be stupid. I mean, do you think you can get in it? That's all I'm no, saying. No, he can't get in it. Oh my gosh, Greg. Here is the only thing I'm saying. No, the like wall, the wall at the at the thickest point. Okay, well, it is a, is metal outside. Maybe a piece of plywood, two by four They're wall about inside. The of old. Yes, all that. No, I mean, what? Everybody's uncle had one. 
We, they take us to the lake in it. We ain't talking about that. Bubba, Greg, think, time out, Greg. Bubba, think about the tour bus that you uh, gave us for tennis I know, matches. I know. Think I, about I know that. what I'm. I know that's what I'm saying though. It, it's, it's, thicker, it's thicker than that. It, it's y'all. It's still just a wall. It's not. It's ain't not. It's not a bulletproof well, shield. Let me just say this: If you ended up with some nut bear. Who was just nuts? <laughs> a nut. Most bear. of them are not going <laughs> to take we the time about a nut to bear gnaw now? through a, a darn RV. Yeah, a tent. Yeah, Greg. Greg. A nut. Bear. All they got to do is get in the door, Greg. They don't have to. Hey guys, he go get in the door. I got the door closed. He's going to rip it open with his powerful <laughs> Rick, strength. Y'all act like they're pterodactyls or I mean Tyrannosaurus <laughs> Rex. How about somebody? this? A chimpanzee <laughs> could do it. <laughs> a chimpanzee <laughs> could do it. Greg, you act like that. They just crush stuff like cans. Okay, they do. But Greg, you don't understand their power. Yeah, they rip people's face off with a swat. Well, Rick, that's with different. a swat. They Rick, knock the head off. They, they found headless deer. Rick, where a grizzly said, "Pop!" Just well, slapped his head off. Well, that's not an RV. They ain't found an RV slapped in half by one. No <laughs> way. I bet they could find an RV door crushed in and Rick, come in. You're thinking about Uncle Frank's Winnebago's. What you thinking about? <laughs> no, I'm not Uncle Frank. Right, you're not thinking about what. A, I'm a, talking a minute ago, Greg was going. That guy, one guy said, "You know what? We got guys from Montana and Alaska." Saying they can do it. Greg takes a call from a guy from Coleman. <laughs> Rick, we know went, there's a lot of bear experts there. Well, he went to the Smokies one time, saw some black bear. Tom, <sighs> Great Falls, Montana. Okay. He probably knows what he's talking about. Go ahead, Tom. Go ahead, Tom. Yes, a couple of quick things. First of all, I'd like to say roll tide. Oh, how about and, go, and go Hoax Bluff Eagles. Hey, hey, hey I live not far from Hoax Bluff. Yeah, what are you doing in Montana? Is that where you live now, or are you just uh, spending Rick, some time there? Taking travel. Oh, yeah, I live up here. I've been up here about 40-something years. Okay, good. All right. I graduated from Hoax Bluff, but yeah. I've been up here since. Yeah, beautiful place, man, oh, Montana. Now, do you have an indestructible RV? <laughs> uh, the one thing you haven't talked about that I don't think a lot of people know, the only thing that we request up here that in your backpack that you carry a good pair of jogging shoes. Uh, you don't have to outrun the bear. All you have to do is outrun the person with you. Right. Uh-huh. Can a grizzly bear break through the door of the, the most oh, yeah. modern RV? Yes. In a, Thank in you. A, whoa, 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 whoa. You live in Montana. Don't make him an RV expert. It right. makes him a bear uh, yeah. expert. He's, he's more than you are, Greg. So he's seen that happen. Well, yeah. I he's from Hoax Bluff, uh, by the way. I've got an Allegro, and I wouldn't mess with them. But they're no, not those that are many. right there. Like I, I'm right. talking about them showing up ones. Tom, showing tell them. <laughs> Tom, <laughs> Tom, will you will you tell? Will I you, know listen. when they design these, they design them to stand up to bears. Yeah. Hey, I mean, <laughs> hey will point. you do me a f- favor, Tom? Will you tell Marlon Perkins <laughs> and his partner Jim, <laughs> <laughs> who have become grizzly bear experts? I don't know where. So and, and so you can crash one and it don't fall to pieces. But now bears gonna slap one slam in half. Greg, no. All he, all the bears got to do is come through the door. How's he just got to come, come through, through the, the door. You ain't seen through the was, window. You've just got a big tin can uh, that an apple tree branch will rip the side See, of it I'm off. See, I'm not talking about those. There you you're go. talking an about apple that. tree branch. Y'all aren't listening to the one I'm talking you're about. Like, you're Thanks, talking about Tom. like a tour bus. Tom, kind of Tom, Tom we'd love to come visit you. That is a beautiful, beautiful place. The next oh, yeah. race at Talladega Super Speedway. Y'all go over with the drivers, park them million-dollar RVs. And that's the one you're talking about. By the way, I would even go on him Greg, $250,000. Greg, you know how people build things. What do they build them to? Whatever they're designed to do. Specs, right? Cheap is better. That's right. right, and they're not going to build one that would stop a grizzly bear that they bear, park at a racetrack. Y'all giving the bear a little more credit than they deserve. Yeah. I'm going to be seeing you boys the week of October the 15th. I'm slipping down there. Oh, good. Okay, okay good. Right. I'll see you then. Good. By, go by the way, we, we, we just. Oaks Bluff, Glen Cole game. Oh, good. We'll, we'll come by and Don't see you. Don't bring any studio. bears. Thanks, Tom. Okay, I won't. I'll bring you some bear spray, though. You might see Helmsy there. They said NASCAR driver Kozlowski has already contacted us, <laughs> okay. and he said he'd like to put Kyle Busch in one and sit it out there. Okay, so, oh, since I live in Alabama, I guess I'm an expert on water moccasins. Then. Is that you what are. Say? I bet you live, know more about it than Tom. I don't does. know whether they – I'm not an expert. You don't know anything about water moccasins? Not really. Y'all yeah, fight. you do. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Bo in Tuscaloosa. Oh, since so Greg go. will be happy. All right, go ahead. <laughs> Bo, I don't, hey, want, I don't want Montana. I don't want Alaska. I want Tuscaloosa. <laughs> <laughs> the bear capital of the world. Bear hey, Bryant. Greg. Bear hey, Bryant. Hey, go ahead. If, I had a, if I had a million-dollar camper, I'd be living somewhere else other than staying in the woods all the time, number one. Well, that's well, whatever. <laughs> but number two, we did have a camper, and it was a fairly decent camper. The old boy did. We were turkey hunting in the uh, Washtenaw Mountains over in Arkansas. And it wasn't a 600-pound grizzly bear. It was just a 350-pound black bear. Thank you. That, 
that tore the door off. But yeah, Thank but you. I know we, what kind you were in. Well, I've, I've slept in those camping. I'm not talking about those. <laughs> where are these magic campers that Greg's talking about? <laughs> okay, you, talking about you have to have the one campers. that has number 20 on the what, side of it. Do you think they're going turkey hunting in some sharp RV? Honestly. <laughs> Greg, him so, and them boys. So you won't be happy. <laughs> <laughs> you really think that. So you won't be happy till Tony Stewart drives his out in the woods. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm getting it. And survives a bear attack. Tony they got, drives Rick, out they got marble floors in What if you look in the, in the next commercial, we see Tony Stewart <laughs> driving through the woods in a big RV, number 20, and he's dragging meat behind right. him. Can I, can I tell I'll you go this far. Can I tell you what, so when he gets like this, you just want a head button. <laughs> look, listen, when he gets like this, he's acting like the, the, the houses can't be broken in by bears. And that somehow that Tony Stewart's got something that's more sturdy than a house. See, they are. <laughs> <laughs> I tell you this, I would get one of them big silver airstreams and <laughs> close my, you know, that look like a uh, cool <laughs> light can. Yeah, yes. And Bobby, see if could get in. Bobby, go ahead. It's uh, like a spaceship. How y'all doing? We're doing good. Um, I've, I've got a friend who lives in Upper Michigan. Thank you. And his two aunts live out in the woods in a log cabin with a six inch door, wooden door, and a black bear broke into that. Just slammed it down like it was nothing. Rick, yeah. I ain't saying they can't run through old wooden doors. <laughs> 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 on somebody's old home place. Oh, <laughs> did, you, did you hear? I bet their the grandmother was born in that house, uh, and you, they live in it now. Did you hear the level of door he was talking about? Rick, I mean, somebody's old home place. I kicked that door down. Goodness gracious. <laughs> Let's go to if De- I was mad. Debbie <laughs> in Mobile. Debbie, go ahead. Hey, y'all, I was watching TV the other night. Tell Greg if he goes in that camper, y'all better not go with him because Ooh, there was dang. a special on grizzly bears. And this grizzly bear tore a hole in the side of a camper. Of a a camper. nice Makes camper. Makes sense, because nice. it's a camper. That, what, camper. What, what are those called? About I, mean, a big, I mean, not a camper, a big oh, RV. Damn, I, I have to see that's that you exactly. just changed your story. I have to yep. see footage of that. <laughs> Greg, I saw a story the other day. <laughs> One actually tore into a Raptor airplane. That's right. I mean, it, it tore the wing right off of it. How about well, this? It ate the wiring out of it. It was Cordial, great. How about this? I'm, I'm going to tell you this, and it was uh, it was up there. I believe it was in in, in Montana where the guy just called from. The expert. A grizzly the bear bluff, shot Montana. a basketball over a waterfall right there. <laughs> <laughs> It went over the waterfall right through right the net. Dead. Nothing but net. <laughs> Nothing but net. All right, let's go to. Um, oh, Rick, I hope one night shows up out here. They'll bust Johnny through this glass. Johnny in Fairbanks, Alaska, was attacked by a grizzly in an RV. All right. Okay, well, all right, now. Chet FM, go right ahead. Yes. Uh, how are y'all today? Good, Johnny. Johnny, tell us your tragic story. He's alive today because the bear so, couldn't get in the RV. I'm in the RV using the bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> Is that what attracted him? And one came in, walked down, and knocked on the door. <laughs> what, Johnny? Hey, now seriously, it did. It did come in the RV though. It did it come? Did it break the door down like it was nothing? <laughs> it broke the door down, came up the steps, walked all the way down, and I was, I was, Is thank God, I was in the restaurant. Right now. Did it break? Did it? Did it turn around and go back out? How'd you get it out? Yeah, but uh, the, the guys that were parked beside me uh, ended speedy. up calling for Where's help. Speedy at right now. This is Speedy. What Dude. kind of what kind of RV did you have? This uh, is Speedy on the phone buddy, right no, now. No, no, no. Y'all had no. This, is, this isn't Speedy. <laughs> yeah, it is Speedy. <laughs> <laughs> no, I just sound a little like him. <laughs>